in this video, we will talk about uh, what is new in 1909 release. And also we will discuss uh, what is the release plan looks like, what is the latest release and how, how it is organized. As we are moving in the series, this is a 17 video in FAQ format. Uh, so please uh, like, subscribe and share the channel. Of course, share with your peers and colleagues who want to learn central finance. We will be loading more and more content for on CFIN so that you know you get more knowledge. And of course, please do share your questions, your experiences as well in YouTube comments. So what's the release plan for S4 HANA and on-premise edition? Of course, everybody knows cloud release comes in, in a quarter, but how the on-premise looks like. So as I discussed in another video, on-premise is annual basis and the latest release is 1909 which was coming which was available in September 2019 and planned release is of course 2020 20, September September 2020 which is uh, next year uh, sorry this year at the late but in the mid SAP has released two feature pack stack so in February the feature pack stack one came uh, and in May which is just a very few few days back feature pack stack two came so these are the two feature pack stack which has been available. Uh, SAP enhanced some universal allocation and group reporting functionalities in FPS1 and they enhanced some legal reporting in FPS2. If you have any questions related to this, just drop a comment in the, in, in the video. Now what is new in 1909 overall? So in 1909 overall, specific to CFIN, if we talk, of course, S4 HANA comes with a lot of uh, huge bundle of functionalities. Specific to CFIN, we have a couple of things which are added to replication scope. Uh, material cost estimate replication, which is very interesting, and activity rates replication. I will cover these two items separately in configuration as well. Uh, however, from understanding perspective that when you do material cost estimate in ECC, it is now replicable to S4 and also activity rates uh, in CO when you plan the activity types. Each activity is signed with a rate, for example, Consulting, uh, it's hours, unit, and then they say, okay, $100, $100 per hour. Those rates, if you maintain is ECC, can be replicated to S4 by activity. Of course, that requires activity mapping, and then accordingly, the, the rates comes. So this is very specific to central finance where replication comes. However, on top of central finance in overall S4 HANA, which is, of course, you can use in CFIN projects as well when you complete your replication and you move to the transactional scope, you can implement more functionalities. And those are uh, in CO area or management accounting area, we have universal allocations, uh, margin analysis, and then we have in financial accounting area, we have accrual management, uh, machine learning service, goods and invoice receipt reconciliation, machine learning service, T account display and group reporting, advanced intercompany reconciliation. I will come up with video on each topic uh, video number 18 is on group reporting, uh, intercompany reconciliation, and as well as overall group reporting, uh, again in FAQ format. However, just to give you a view, universal allocation is basically an advanced form of uh, assessment and distribution, what we do today in ECC. So now in future, what you can do is you can do universal allocations in S4 HANA. And if you are using a central finance scenario, you can, rather than doing your assessment and distribution in ECC multiple times, for example, if we have four source systems, you have to do it four times, four different rules. You can do it in once. So you bring your data from ECC to CFIN, and then you run universal allocation for on the CFIN side. Margin analysis is simply a advanced COPA. So SAP came up with, the, initially it was account-based COPA, cost-based COPA, and now SAP is saying, okay, cost-based COPA may go away. They are not supporting it anymore, and account-based COPA is enhanced into margin analysis. So there is a, I have written a blog on this. It is available on blogs.sap.com. You can view what margin analysis is. Financial accounting, yes, accrual management. This is machine learning uh, service where, you know, based on your data existing in the system, SAP runs some machine learning uh, systems and it gives you a proje projected accruals what you should do in this month. It is a monthly exercise. You do accruals, you do reversals at the month, after the month each month and you have to do an approval exercise. SAP gives you best estimate based on your data available and it's a separate license. Goods and invoice receipt reconciliation, again, machine learning, this is always a pain for any organization. 
uh, what is good received uh, you know it uh, and then of course gr and ir reconciliation has to happen on this sap has also added a machine learning enhancements t account display is a fury app where you know in you can display your uh, accounts as in the t format uh, and i will not explain what is t format you guys are from accounting background and grand group reporting advanced intercompany reconciliation so group reporting is uh, as i said i will cover in detail in video 18 uh, however intercompany reconciliation is where where your own entity trades within one the one company code is buying and selling from another company code and at the end when you do your consolidation you do your overall group reporting you have to eliminate those items so and then you reconciliation which is the buyer which is the seller and because you can't report the number twice so that elimination reconciliation is also part of group reporting and it's a new functionality so these are the new functionalities on s4 hana and of course these you can implement this on uh, cfin because cfin is nothing but a additional functionality in s4 hana box itself but of course there are few blogs available on these topics as well as you can also uh, focus on the videos available in the channel i will be talking and so few videos are also available i will be talking a lot about uh, these topics in coming time we are planning to upgrade what should we do yes if you are planning to up currently in may 2020 if you are looking for upgrade yes you can go ahead for the upgrade and uh, with the latest release of course and if not uh, if you it even it doesn't provide benefit it is make sense to upgrade the system because if you upgrade after so many years you carry lot of debt on on the system and you have to do lot of customizations to meet new requirement but uh, slowly and gradually sap is meeting those requirements so keep on taking benefits of the new release recommendation is please go ahead and if you still think uh, go ahead with 1909 and of course after that you plan for 2009 it's not that critical upgrade uh, it it will help you in in future so as i said videos coming soon universal allocation uh, video will be coming soon margin analysis very soon group reporting it's there video number 18 is on faqs of group reporting uh, feel free to watch it and of course i will be coming more topics uh, as i said from 1909 we will pick we will talk and of course please share your experience your questions your comments in youtube don't forget to like subscribe the channel and just a summary we have these videos available now already in feel free to view feel free to share as you want all digital learning just available at your in your hands and at no cost thank you so much and do not forget to like subscribe and share the channel again uh, keep watching the channel and keep sharing your feedback thank you